Hello and welcome to the Moon Kitties of Luckland. And uh, here we are in uh, Mon. Let's see, Mons Letalis is where we're at today. Uh, I actually got a daily quest to come here. Uh, we're currently level 45 and a little bit of change. I believe the other two that we just added are only 42. So. Uh, what we need to do is kill some uh, gatherers and then we're gonna kind of just mess around in the zone and See how good the experience here is at this level uh, I'm not 100% sure the smob right here is uh, Is light blue, so it's I I'm skeptical uh, If we're gonna get anything uh, Anything good in this zone, but uh, we're gonna try it out and see how it goes so, uh, I did make a little money. Uh, I made 4200 ish uh, platinum, selling all the extra Defiant stuff uh, that I'd done since the last video. So, that was kind of nice. Uh, so, that should, uh, in theory, keep us afloat spell-wise for, I don't know, the not the foreseeable future, but... At least until the 50s, I think. I don't... I don't remember there being a lot of really expensive spells. Till 60 plus. And, uh, it's currently... I can type calendar here. There we go. Uh, it's currently the 14th of January. On the 19th of January is when the, uh... The, uh, what you call it? New... I guess new expansion-ish thing launches for uh, Veniki, or they unlock uh, the next one. And so there's some uh, more stuff to sell. And when that happens, the level cap will rise till I think se I think 70. So currently, I think the level cap is 65. So uh, we will expand the series to uh, encapsulate that uh, new level. <laughs> uh, and what I'll do is, like, say we get 70, right? And, uh, we're, in theory, done, right? With, uh, the goal of getting max level. Uh, every, you know, five levels they unlock, or whatever it is, uh, we will, we'll do follow-up video and stuff. To kind of get these guys until they are, uh, I think 120. Uh, maybe 125 is where this server dies. Uh, and it be gets merged with live I can't remember where did this guy go like this is like so far the like the most terrible uh <laughs> terrible pathing here and you know it's, it's also I'm not snaring this stuff so let me get the uh, bard actually snaring and rogue attacking there we go they should all be attacking now and I'm just doing auto follow and if they hit they hit if they don't they don't is what it is like I just can't uh, micromanage that enough right now all right so what we're looking for are uh, Shiknar gatherers and uh, there's one right there so it looks like they're little tiny bugs so they're a little bit harder to hit for everybody uh, I've noticed the Beast Lord pet is kind of doing a little bit of good damage now so that's kind of nice but uh, as much damage as we can get is kind of the goal for a lot of this. There's another gatherer right there. They're light blue. And this is a level 40 quest. We are 45. So I guess uh, my expectations were a little higher than they probably should have. Uh, since these are only given like 1% experience each. But uh, eh, it is what it is, right? I mean... Experience is experience. We'll get, uh, I think, about 10% just for completing this uh, quest. So, that's that's going to be good. But uh, we need to find three more of those. And uh, keep going through there. These rock hoppers, uh, if they drop the, the good hide, that can sell for a little bit of money. I noticed there was a few people, people buying those on barter. So definitely something I'm going to keep an eye out for and there we go we did get a flawless one so let's go ahead and send those over to Stasi. 
and uh, let's see how that goes. There we go, we got one more of those, and let's get these guys going. Let's see, Bard is attacking. Rogue is attacking. It does not say I need to position for backstab, so it looks good. Yeah, the auto follow works the best with the rogue, I guess, because you know you're they're always going to be in that specific kind of range that you need them to be in. But uh, there's some more gatherers over here. Yeah, oh gosh, I think this is going to break auto follow on all these guys. Let's see. One, two. I think that's everybody. All right, where'd he go? That's not a. That's not a gather. That's an enslaved. Uh, Siknar. Or Shik. Shiknar. All right, you can call it whatever you want. A little bug. All right, so that one was not what we're looking for. Kind of just peek around here. Uh, the is my view distance like turned down or something? There we go. It was turned down a little bit for some reason, but not enough to care too much about. Right. I'm gonna go this way actually. But uh, yeah, we got a lot going on. Um, Trying to get a lot of different things going on on the channel right now. Just getting it uh, back into a, a place I like. And uh, working on a few different series, a few different games. Trying to get, you know, each different thing, one, one video a week. If that's a good idea or not, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it gives me more time to process videos and get them up and scheduled and then I can kind of get ahead and then I can kind of layer more videos in specific ways for uh, other things like like the news videos and all of that stuff so it's uh it's working for me I don't know how well it's gonna work for everybody else that uh, watches the videos so yeah you know and it, it is what it is I just don't have <laughs> the ability to churn out uh, two or three videos a day anymore so it's just uh, gonna be how it is until I can I can produce more I guess I don't know all right there is a red thing on track called the spire Lord. <laughs> I don't even know what that is uh, it's right here red that's interesting Maybe used for a quest or something, but he's red to me and my bard, so. Uh, let's go back up here. Can we, can we get up here? All right, everybody's with us. Finding these gatherers is a little bit trickier than I thought. I mean, I guess I can track them, but I don't even see him on tracking. There's one. He's behind me. So in this direction should be a gatherer. All right. Oh, here we go. I think they're right up there. So let's see if we can get up this side of the wall here. And everybody have to do like a, a visual check to make sure I got everybody before I uh, move on. I hate it when I uh, I lose a character and then I have to run back and uh, try to find out where I lost them and uh, manually get them to me. It's just not as fun. All right, this is four of five. And that one over there should be a gatherer too. Let's kill this guy. I want to kill that Spire Lord. I don't, I don't, I don't know what level he is, though. I mean, he's red, but how red is he? That's the real question. Oh, we're getting attacked by a rock hopper. The other ones didn't attack. I wonder why this one attacked. There we go. 
Oh. And I've noticed uh, having, I don't know, it, since I'm not, you know, I don't have mercenaries and all my live characters have had mercenaries, I've noticed that the regen from the druid and the bard song is making it a lot easier to do healing. And overall, adding the, uh, adding the druid has been a great thing because <laughs> there's getting, there was some times when we were doing the when I was doing the guck video where uh, there was not enough healing that the shaman could do to keep the uh, warrior alive and having that backup heal is uh probably gonna pay off long term all right so these are just warriors where is let me see if I can track another gatherer real quick behind let me face the same way. Behind, left, below. All right, so if we go behind, and it's right and below, there's one right there. So having a bard is uh, <laughs> very useful. Um, they provide, wow, oh, geez, four mobs. Okay, this is going to be a tricky situation here. Ah, oh, and another one. Ooh. Alright, let me start pulling these off here. Like, they're all light blue, so I'm not terribly concerned. Like, uh... But I have no way to taunt the stuff off in a, in a meaningful way. I kind of even know who's he... It's attacking the warder, so... Alright, who's taking damage? Oh, it's really taking a lot of damage, honestly. Um, so that's kind of nice. Shaman pet died, though. Alright, that's, uh... Another gatherer added. So if I heal anybody, the shaman is going to start taking damage, so... I ain't gotta be... Careful about that. What is this junk? Sig signal of the Spire. That's an Og. Alright, send that to Stasi. All right, we completed that. Close that for right now. All right, we got 100% on that one. I don't care about that one. Send those to Stasi too. Sort all that out later. And of course, another one. All right, this is uh looking too dicey for me. I'm gonna go ahead and evac. was just kidding. That was a little chaotic. Uh, we did get the quest done though, so I don't know where this is gonna spit us out at. Just too many mobs. And I don't really have the bard set up for uh, doing any kind of uh, CC at the moment. It's just not worth. So let's take a look at the reward we got here. We got uh, ornate. Uh, so let's see here we have simple belt at the moment so there's such difference here 22 percent haste versus 14 percent haste ah uh, we're gonna go with that also gives two hp regen that's a pretty good upgrade i believe swap you in all right and uh, i'll do everybody else's later so let's keep looking around the zone uh so, and this is, you know, staying here in the center is uh, a little chaotic, so I don't want to do that again, unless we have to. So, let's uh, get everybody following here. All right. I do like Truebox, and I, I was working on my uh, Trueboxing video it's going to put out, and I started looking at, like, some of the footage I took, uh... And it, I'm just not happy with it, so I'm going to be doing a lot of that over. Uh, I'd recorded uh, all my computers and stuff, and it just wasn't something I was happy with. The uh, the zoom in the video is a lot closer than it is uh, in the little viewfinder for some reason, and 
on my uh, on my cameras, and I didn't really think about that at the time. So the footage is like really zoomed in, and it's kind of cutting out a lot of what I wanted to uh, capture. So I gotta redo all that, uh, but I'm hoping to release that one. Uh, it's in Jan no, it's January now. Uh, I'm planning on. Let's see, let me look at my calendar here. I'm planning on, it's going to be a Thursday release. Uh, I'm going to do the Cleric Epic, the Mage Epic, the Necro Epic, and then I think the multi-boxing video. I think that's the order of uh, what I plan on releasing those in. Those are all going to be on Thursday releases. Uh, but I have the uh, Cleric Mage Epics all done. I, I just need to do the turn-ins for the Necro Epic on Gnome Regard. I finally got the Plain of Sky cloak uh, a few weeks ago, and I just need to do that part of the quest. So this is gonna be like a two year gap or something like that in between the, the last video I made and the new video. And uh, that's mostly because like when I, when I first made the video, there was no agents of change on, uh, on live. And then uh, they added agents of change. And then I started farming uh, something in Sky for uh, one of my characters. I can't remember what it is. And I got uh, parts of the parts of the stuff we needed. I think I was trying to get part of the Ranger Epic. It's another work in progress. All right. Well, you know this zone is not that great, honestly. <laughs> the mobs are too far away. And if you have to go kind of like and stand in the center area here, and this is uh, just unpleasant, truth be told. I can't imagine staying here uh, for a longer period of time. Uh, we did, so we did that quest, and we're almost at 46, so we're gonna see if we can kind of get there. If we stay up top, I think we should be safer. Uh, we just don't do a lot of damage, even with like, I think they all have flawed defiant weapons, uh, except maybe the Beast Lord. And just not a lot of damage compared to uh, what we can do against like old world mobs and stuff. And I think there was a few comments on one of the videos uh, where people are saying, you know, it's Lachlan's a terrible idea <laughs> for, for leveling. And, you know, it's true. Uh, this is not where you would want to level at all, in my opinion. I'm gonna try, yeah, see we're already getting like, kind of like zerged by all these mobs here, right? So I'm gonna try to get some heals going. It might, like if I had like a Blade of Carnage or something like that, so I could like actually taunt off these things. It might be a little bit better, but low level warrior aggro is terrible. Shadow Knight probably this would be a little bit easier with, because Shadow Knights can instantly Know, grab aggro at pretty much every single level but as a warrior you kind of struggle with that until you get uh, the proc stuff and maybe if I go buy some wolfenite gems or something like that that might help but I don't know I don't know if that was actually useful all right geez let's get this guy over here what level are these things Where's the con? 41? There we go. And who is not attacking here? Let's get the druid. Is she gonna heal me? What is her hockey? Two. I try to use the druid to heal me, and then I use everybody else to heal the shaman to heal everybody else. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and call this episode here. I think I don't like this zone. It's not. I'm not having fun here. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look around and see if there's a better zone. It might be. Uh, I think Maiden's Eye is better, and that might be a better place to go for. Uh, the next episode but uh this is uh mons letalis uh we were able to do our daily quest here uh 
And if you wanted, like a spoiler, if you go in this general area where we were uh, originally, that is a good spot to get the, the gatherers. But uh, thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day. Thank you.